Lee Elder, the man who broke the color barrier in golf's prestigious Masters Tournament, has died. Joining us to talk about his legacy in sports is sports reporter Ron Futrell from our Las Vegas station, KLAS. Ron, thank you for being here. Can you explain how much of an impact Lee Elder had on the game of golf? Oh, Nicole, he was a legend, first of all, in the game of golf. Certainly breaking the color barrier was the most significant thing, but he also won quite a bit on the tournament. Uh, I saw him play here in Las Vegas many times in the 90s. They played in the senior tour here in town. It's now called the Champions Tour. Interviewed him quite a few times. He was always gracious and engaging when I talked to him. He was one of the first black golfers on the PGA Tour. He won four events over the years. Black players were not allowed to compete in the Masters back then, not until 1975. He was 40 years old when he played in that first Masters. Remember that great moment he had out there with, let's see, Jack Nicholas, Gary Player, Lee Elder, they all got together there at the Masters this year. I remember the time, it reminded me of the times here at the old Desert Inn Country Club when he'd get together with Chi Chi Rodriguez and Lee Trevino and they, they would entertain the crowds here in town. He fought through a lot in his life. He was nine years old when his father died in World War II. Three months later, his mother also died. He was the youngest of 10 children. He loved Texas. He was from Dallas, Texas. That's where he was born. And he busted down many walls, certainly, throughout his career. He joined the Ryder Cup team. He qualified to get on the Ryder Cup team in 1979. He always said that was one of his great joys to be able to represent the United States on that Ryder Cup team back in 79. So Lee Elder, 87 years old, passes away today. A loss, certainly, uh, for this country, for the world, and, and certainly the golf community that knew him and loved him. What an amazing impact. What an ama amazing legacy there, though. Ron, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.